Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we've discussed the various reasons for obeying God, from best to worst, ending with the reality of the afterlife. We've discussed the different kinds of afterlife, how choosing to reject God's mercy can help to determine where we spend our afterlife, and how the nature of free will allows us to make these kinds of choices. However, there's still one more issue to concern ourselves with on this subject, namely, why are people tempted to turn away from God? This is a good question. God is good, and everything that he created is also good. Evil is merely an absence of goodness within otherwise good beings. So this question, why are essentially good beings naturally inclined to do evil, is a serious one. If we could convince ourselves, like Lutherans, that we were utterly depraved, temptation would be easier to understand. But as C.S. Lewis once wrote, if we were totally depraved, we wouldn't know it. Still, the sheer power and strength of the temptation to do evil is very strong and very much embedded within us. At times, it may even feel like one of the strongest urges we have. Why are human beings so tainted in this way? Well, in episode 58, we talked about how God's nature was incompatible with sin, and how the impenitent throw themselves into hell voluntarily to avoid God. Then, last episode, we discussed how free will makes it possible to go against the nature of God, thus injuring our future opportunities. This seems to imply that free will can be responsible for evil. Furthermore, in episode 31, we talked about how free will necessarily involves the potential for evil to exist, and a real, loving relationship necessarily involves free will. Now it's time for a few more deductions to see if we can discern some more things about this problem. Premise 1. Any person who chooses to voluntarily do evil could have chosen to do good instead, or at least to avoid the evil. Premise 2. Free choices are responsible for the existence of evil. Conclusion. Therefore, no evil that exists has an actually necessary existence. It might not have existed if the choice that created it had been a choice for good rather than evil. In short, the existence of free will makes evil possible, but not necessary. Second deduction. Premise 1. The existence of free will makes evil possible, but not necessary. Premise 2. God created free will, but did not create evil. Conclusion. Since creating free will does not necessarily result in evil, God is not to blame for the existence of evil. Conclusion 2. Since God is not to blame for the existence of evil, it is the beings who made the free choices who are to blame for it. Pretty basic, I think. Now just a couple more deductions and we can, I think, understand why people have temptations. Premise 1. Beings who make free choices for evil are to blame for that evil. Premise 2. No evil comes from God directly. Premise 3. No evil arises without free choices because otherwise it would need to arise from God, which is impossible. Conclusion. All evil comes from free choices. And finally, Premise 1. All evil comes from free choices. Premise 2. The temptations towards wickedness which people experience are evil. Conclusion. Therefore, evil temptations come from a free choice or a series of free choices. There's a whole in-depth story about fruit in a garden in classic biblical texts on this subject. I'm told some people don't believe that story. I don't see any reason to doubt it. But even if you want to criticize certain specifics about the story, the backbone of it is clearly correct, namely, that man was once free from temptations, and that he committed some sin which was so rebellious, so defiant, so purposeless, and so avoidable, that it brought with it a horrible consequence, temptation to sin in the very blood of man and all of his descendants. Catholics call this temptation concupiscence, a fruit of original sin, and this is the reason why people are tempted to do evil. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.